Hi, I am Minakshi from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will see how to enable Trace for Snowflake connection in IICS. The agenda of this video is to discuss about Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse and enable Trace for Snowflake connection in IICS. Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse is a pure cloud solution and it is designed with a new architecture to handle data and analytics. It also combines high performance and high concurrency. So Snowflake actually separates but logically integrates storage, compute and services. Because each of its components are separate, they can be expanded and contracted as per the business use case. This makes Snowflake more responsive and adaptable. Snowflake employs a certain central persisted data repository that is accessible from all compute nodes. So similar to a shared nothing architecture, Snowflake processes queries using massive parallel processing compute clusters. In IICA, Snowflake connection can be used for a data integration task or in a mass ingestion task. To enable the trace for Snowflake connection, we have to edit the Snowflake connection from Informatica Cloud Console. And in the additional JDBC URL parameters, we have to add tracing equal to all. So one of the example is given here, along with data base equal to GCS, we have provided tracing equal to all. And by default, the Snowflake JDBC trace will be generated in the temp location. Now let's go to the demo section. So for this demo purpose, we will be running a file mass ingestion task where the target is Snowflake and for that we will enable the tracing and check if the traces are generated or not. So this is a sample file mass ingestion task and the source here is local folder. The target is Snowflake and here we can see that in the additional JDBC URL parameters, the parameters provided are database and tracing. So we have kept tracing equal to all here. Now all other things are by default and now we can just save this and run this task. So we can see that the task has successfully completed. We can now verify if the traces were generated or not. So by default the traces will be inside temp location. Here we see that Snowflake JDBC traces are generated and uh, we can further analyze this trace for any additional information. Similarly, we can enable JDBC trace for Snowflake connection for a data integration task as well. We would love to hear from you. Please share your valuable feedback. Thank you.